Hello! Jezebel here with another episode of Cradle. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I have really been enjoying it. We're gonna go up here to the pavilion... What was this? Four? And we're gonna try to walk over to the pavilion six. Um... I don't know if I can, though, but we're gonna try. I think... Yep, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, I know I I did a running jump because I didn't know if I could make it, but yeah. Where's the thing at? Okay, it's over there. Oh, sorry about that. Let's try this again. I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. I'm doing okay. It's a nice sunny day outside today. It doesn't count. I will have to run and jump. After all this stuff, I'm not going to be able to do this. Oh, look at that. I see underneath the building. Was it this one? Yeah. I remember from the red block. Oh, shoot. There. So pretty. Alright, we're gonna do this again. I don't think I can walk over to the other one and then back. I think I have to jump this. Aha! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. Oh, man. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult to get over there. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully for this one, I automatically get the item. Trying to touch the other button. It's not a button, it's a light. Let's see here. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's do this again. These are the cases I wish it wasn't first person. It would be a lot easier to determine. I'm just gonna have to do a lot of jumping. Not a good place. Uh, no, no, I didn't jump! No! <laughs> no! Oh, why can't it start me up at the top? Oh, well. Alright, let's go back. This is the last time I'm going to try, and then I'm just going to pause it until I have it, because this is crap. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the game. I hate parkour. This could be considered parkour, yeah? 
It's gonna be a 20 minute episode of me trying to jump across the thing. Of course, you know, it's nice that some places were wrecked. Well, since this is wrecked so bad, I guess the explosion was around that area? I mean... You'd think that the area of the explosion would have more um, damage than the other places. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. Getting pretty good at that. Gives me flashbacks to Prince of Persia. Things I don't want to go back to. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. And then I wanna go over here. And then I wanna go over here. Um. I did it! Yay! <laughs> I'm excited! Woo! I see you. Go on in. Okay. Here I go. We'll open the door, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always quiet here, but I forgot that it doesn't load yet. <laughs> I need room to cut this out. All right. Click 30 orange cubes to obtain the secret secret sizer. I can't say it today. Hurl cubes to using the blocks. Use bombs to destroy the gray blocks. Apply orange cubes to the red ones to make bombs explode. I'm going to do my best to try to get this first time. Is that a white block I saw? I thought I saw a white block. There's a way to Oh man, one of these is orange. Taking you with me. Get away. I'm going to put this over here, actually. Now I'm just going to throw it. I didn't mean to throw it. No, stop throwing it! No, you wrecked my white block, you fuck! Oh well. I might not be able to do this first time. Right here, 
No space inventory. White block. Oh shoot! Horrible timing on my part. All of those orange blocks destroyed makes me sad. I'll take this red one. Should have put it up higher. That so that it wouldn't wreck the floor too. Actually, I'm just gonna try to find the rest of the ones I need, I guess, at this point. any more white blocks or orange blocks up here. Block this whole area off. There we go. Oops, is... Hey, how did I get those? Yay, I won! <laughs> I guess I was extremely lucky. And um, some of the blocks didn't get destroyed but went back into the air as um, they landed when he was sucking them in. So I was very lucky because I don't remember... I remember having like seven or eight left before. when we did it! And we did it in this episode! That's cool. Oh, it's evening. We're gonna have to put that thing on the bird. He's gonna get cold. He needs to cover his chest. I need to go over there and get that sword again, too. Ow! That wasn't that long of a fall. I'm a little woozy. I know why there was so little information about me. August 15th was my first workday at the Gerbera Garden. I had come here for the first time with that group of kids, and the explosion occurred two hours later. Oh. Sword has to be for something. Is he there yet? Oh, I was kind of hoping he was back. Um, tapioca was back. Oh, I keep on forgetting I have to press it to lift it. I'm sure we'll run out of energy eventually and I can't use it anymore. But might as well use it for as much time as we can. Ew. I don't have a body! Very pretty. Oh, wow. It almost makes me feel that I'm just in somebody's mind or something. 
I mean, that would be sad. You know, you live your whole life thinking that you're your own being, you're doing your own stuff, and then you realize that, you know, you're not your own being. You're someone else's imagination. That would be a big pile of shit right there. Um, I'm surprised I haven't gotten attacked by any snakes. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Is my bird there? I forgot his name. Udon or whatever his name was. I'm gonna dig up my grandpa. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Guess what? Did you bring it? Yep. I did. Hold on while I replace it. I really don't. I hope I don't have to shut her down again. Oh, maybe I should have unplugged her first. I feel horrible. Sorry about that. I hope she doesn't get mad. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. I should have realized. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel so horrible. Look how dirty that screen is. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry. Well? It's fine. Thoughts still messed up? No. Everything's fine. Then it helped. For now. We'll see if it lasts. How long will your charge last? About two weeks, maybe less. Say, know what I found? The correspondence of that operator, Mark, with one of his colleagues. There are some strange tidbits here. Here, listen to this. I want to listen to it, but this is my only answer. To be honest, it doesn't really interest me. Wait, this is important. It's about your parents. What? What? Your parents. And me as well. Here, listen. It's a work correspondence. They're talking about research into memory transfer between people using telepathy. Telepathy? Telepathy? That's what it says here. They're discussing telepathy and also mention some kind of side effect. They refer to it as MPR zero. The MPR zero effect. Emperor effect? I like how her eyes are closed when she's reading this stuff out like she's actually looking at it or something. That's what I noticed though. What is it? Well, if my understanding is correct, it's a sensation. A strange sensation experienced when one transmits one's memory. And what of it? Mark writes that at one time he was very interested in the matter, studying MPR Zero thoroughly after that incident with Ida. That incident? We must have been acquainted. Even though I remember nothing about Mark or any unusual effects, and I cannot imagine what incident he's referring to. And what about my parents? And what about my parents? That's here too. He recalls working at a research station before the garden was constructed. There weren't many people around in those days. His circle of contacts was limited to several work colleagues and his Mongolian friends. He writes, It's the family living in a yurt not far from the landing platform. That's your family, isn't it? Sure does sound like it. Sounds like it. Where are your parents now? Well, they died. They died long ago. Why? They could have probably answered many of our questions. Maybe Mark even told them about me. Are you alright? Yes, maybe. Maybe he told them. Ida, is everything fine? Everything, everything fine is an ordinary word. word. Just, Just a note. Like the weather, chilly or warm, warm that we were looking for other research. Family records, kind letters, so... What was that just now? More of the same? Does she have multiple souls or memories in her memory? That's... it almost seems like another person. Yes. Again. Enabish. What? I don't think I have much time. Please, help me untangle this web with Mark. I want you to look through your parents' things. They may have left behind notes, journals. Understood. I will go look for them. Ah, Tabaha, Tabaha is here. Good. I'll go see Tabaha next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. This has been Jens DeMille. I'll see you again for another episode of this. Goodbye.